If you're on your trip and you get a couple episodes of diarrhea, nothing, no major cramping, no nausea, no vomiting, just some uh, extra diarrhea that you didn't expect and you didn't want. Right? There are a couple things you can do that now don't involve antibiotics. The first is you can use Pepto-Bismol. Pepto-Bismol is bismuth subsalicylate. And it's really the bismuth part that's doing most of the heavy lifting for traveler's diarrhea. Now, what it does is it does a couple things. Right? One, it coats, it soothes, but it also has a little bit of antibacterial activity, has a little antacid activity, and may bind a little toxin. In studies, it doesn't really prove to be any more effective than, say, Imodium, which is loperamide. So what I usually recommend is that people use loperamide, or the Imodium. Couple reasons. The bismuth subsalicylate is a cation that will chelate, in other words, it will combine with certain antibiotics, like fluoroquinolones, a ciprofloxacin or an olfloxacin, something that we want to give somebody to treat traveler's diarrhea will now be potentially inactivated by the Pepto-Bismol. People don't know how to space this out. They're not thinking clearly. When they've got explosive diarrhea, they're just taking everything they can. So to make it easy for patients, I think probably the easier recommendation for people is to use an Imodium product to start with. Now, the Pepto-Bismol, the Imodium, none of them really adequately treat or do anything to that bacterial infection. It just buys your body time to treat it itself. They're self-limiting infections. Your body should be able to take care of that. 